going on everyone? This is Guild Wars Reborn. Today I have a very efficient, easy, and good moneymaker dervish farm for under two minutes. So it's going to take around one and a half to two minutes per run, and it's going to make really good money. So let's go ahead and get started, show you the gear first. I use this build, uh, build template I'll put in the description, and all other things you want to know about this video is in the description. I always like to include the information. Windwalker times five, uh, superior vigor. Earth Prayer's headpiece with plus three on it, plus one of Scythe and Mysticism and a Vite. So you can alter the runes to what works for you. This is what's worked for me. I have a high energy and 20% enchanted staff as well as a customized Zelius Scythe of enchanting with damage 15%. And here's all the different template skills that I'm using. Uh, the two skills you can alter are the Dorvern skill. Some people use I Am Unstoppable for this build, or you could put Ebon in place of that. And then I have the extended enchantments I like to use because I like to extend enchantments. Since I don't use concepts or any kind of enchantment boost for this and pecans to make it cheaper, these two skills are really important to kind of help boost with this. And use this build for a lot of different dervish farms, not just for that. So let's go and get started. Right at Temple of Ages, we're going to get into Fissure of Woe. So Obsidian Shards, a big hit. Usually top three crafting materials that you can farm. Right now, they're around 7,000 platinum each. So really good money maker. If you have favor, you don't have to go in for uh, cost, but it's a platinum to get in if you don't have favor. So farming during favor is a better win for this. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I added heroes because... Because I prefer to use heroes. I feel like the drop rate's better. I'm using a cupcake and alcohol because I like to boost speed, give me extra health and energy to get to the spot a little quicker. On top of that, it's a little easier and safer. And I use alcohol for Dorvern stability because I don't use I Am Unstoppable. And Dorvern stability gives me an anti-KD being alcohol. So I'm going to go ahead and run to the spot. A lot of people call this TOS. Really quick and easy. You get here in like 10 seconds. Walk backwards if you're using a cupcake, otherwise you're going to break your aggro. Maintain skills 1, 3, and then 5, which is extending your mirage. That way you have around 12 to 15 seconds of enchantment length to where you can continuously keep that 85 to 90% block rate up. And you're going to pull back all of your enemies. This is where a lot of people are going to say you would death charge in or move in. But I found it easier for anybody farming to kill these real quick. It adds about 8 to 10 seconds to the farm. Go ahead and kill the Abyssals before you go in and kill the Rangers. It's going to just add in a little bit more buffer. But it makes it way easier and safer. So once those are dead, walk a little bit farther back. If you haven't noticed that the group spawn is right around the ball that you want it to be. After everything's balled up accordingly, you go in and do your final spike. So this is the Dervish VOS, is what they call it, Vow of Strength Farm. Uh, so I went ahead and put also a video in the description for how to use this build and a full 8-10 to 10 minute breakdown more in depth on that if you want to watch that. And that's the genre of the video for easy farming, Obsidian Shards, Shadow Weapons, Old Schools, Dust, Dark Remains, etc. And here's 10 different result drop rates showing you I've done 10 runs with all the results for these drops. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit the like if you haven't already, as well as subscribe for more Guild Wars content coming your way every day. These 10 runs ran me around 8 to 9 Obsidian Shards. Got a lot of Dark Remains on top of a good bit of Old Schools. You also can get Shadow Shields in here if you get a really good dual mod. This can be worth XX Arm Braces. So happy farming. I hope you enjoyed the video. Anything I said wrong or improvement on, be sure to comment. That way we can see what we can do to improve and help everybody. And